as a player who has the longest history with Vic and uh, who knows him the best, has there been anything that he's asked you to sort of emphasize or convey to teammates about what he wants and expects philosophically, defensively, execution-wise, beyond what he tells the players as a group? Uh, I just feel like, yeah, in, in general, defensive means he kind of gives a general idea of what he wants us to do. And then um, when you get to talk to him and, and, and kind of ask him those questions, like, hey, coach, I, I know we had this in this call, but like, what if I see this? And then that's when that, you know what I'm saying, that back and forth starts. And um, I feel like he's, uh, he, he when he requires a lot out of you, you know what I mean? He, he's going to be detailed in exactly what he wants from that person and that situation and that stuff. But uh, for the most part, man, it's, it's uh, the, the message he gives the defense is, is the same that he gives each and every, you know what I'm saying, each and every day. So um, we just got to, like I said, go out there and just continue to execute and um, do it at a high level. You guys are up to, I think, 17 sacks now in the season, 40 quarterback hits. What does that say about the pass rush and how it's coming along? Well, it's coming along well, man. We're getting after it. Um, rushing as one. Um, we got to continue to do that. Rush as one. We play a lot of good quarterbacks coming up uh, on our schedule, so um, we got to make sure we continue to get after them and make sure that um, we, we don't let these guys hurt us with their legs because they, they're all talented, you know what I'm saying, throwing the ball, so we don't need a, another added element to that, and that's on us to, to eliminate it. What can you say about ABG's play at this when he's in there? It's been phenomenal, man. Just the, the, the energy he brings, the, he's finding a way to make a play every game and multiple plays every game, so it, it's been dope to see him come along, man, and uh, I know he's going to continue it throughout the rest of the season, and I'm, I'm excited to see where this, when we look at it at the end, see where we're at with him, man, and, and, and I know he's been um, diligent in, in his preparedness for the week and stuff like that, and it's, it's been coming to life, so it's been dope. It's important, obviously, for all defenses to get pressure with four-man rushes. How important is it to do that, Bradley, in Vic's defense just because he doesn't call as many blitzes as some coordinators? Yeah, I feel like it's, uh, like you said, it's, it's important regardless, no matter who the coordinator is, but uh, I feel like it, it is important in this defense, man, because... Uh, like the, the the way our DBs play sometimes, like it, it, I feel like when we see teams, we get a lot of quick throws, quick passes, quick. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying this on the defense. I'm saying that they're leveraged. Uh, the quarterback just hitching and, and getting it right there, or whatever it may be. So it's it's important that when he does take that hitch, when on, you know what I'm saying, when the guy is, is on him pretty well, he does take that hitch that we get there or that we're hitting him, that we're affecting him. So um, I don't feel like this. Uh, um, you know, uh, uh, against Vic's defense, that how do you, you know what I mean? I think it's like a, a team thing. They see the playmakers we got, so they just try to get the ball out quick and try to make it, uh, take the pressure off themselves as an offense and, and try to find little things in order to have success. Riley, how's it been uh, playing at home, uh, first home stand of the season with back to back games? Just can you touch on the energy? that you get from the fans. Man, it's amazing playing at home uh, in terms of the, what, how the fans bring the energy for sure. Packed out every time. Um, you know they're going to be yelling. It, it's, it's honestly kind of, it's one of those things you, you get used to, like the fans screaming because we make so many big plays on offense. And as a defense, we, we try to make those big plays and the fans are always into it. So that, that having that energy is always fun and it's always amazing. Um, and then the, the heat element of it too as well. I feel like... Uh, Throughout the game, like yeah, we feel the heat. We we started getting okay. We we start feeling it on us as the fourth quarter comes on. But we practice in it. We're we're accustomed to it. And I, you see scenes when they start to come down here. We kind of use that as our advantage. So um, I'm excited to that our you know what I'm saying back half when places are starting to get cold that we still got that heat to our advantage. So the, those two things, man, been been really helping us out. How would you assess your own play? Uh, I feel like it's been been decent. You know. Uh, I feel like uh, decent is not where I want to be, though. You know, I, I, I want to be one of the elite player, a great player, and that comes with, you know, just doing my job at an elite level. Uh, I feel like, I, like I said, I've been doing a pretty good job at it, but I'm not here to to be pretty good. I'm here to be, like I said, the the, the, the words I use and um, just got to find ways throughout the week, man, and just to capitalize on those big plays and, and, and finding out the intricacies of when uh, offense does this and where I could take my shots and do that and have calculated risk and stuff like that. But I feel like, like I said, I've been pretty good, but working on making it great. What do you think blocking? you need to harp on uh, to get past the decent then? Uh, putting a complete game together, man, just with the rushes, with the playing in the run. And uh, like I said, just not taking shots off my own free will, you know what I mean? Doing it within the within the defense and doing it within the guys next to me. So I feel like that's what's going to take me from from good to great. The amount you're, uh, of guys you're, you're getting blocking, 
you as as a volume changed, you think, compared to your Denver days in terms of the amount of attention you're getting from offensive players who are blocking you? Uh, I wouldn't say. You know, I think it's about the same, you know, uh, with chips. I feel like chips and uh, receiver chips, tight end chips, running back chips, kind of seeing all that as well. Uh, um, yeah, I, I wouldn't say anything's changed. Just got to go out there and execute. I think – I think oh go ahead, Mark. Bradley, what are some ways that, that you find playing rookie quarterbacks as far as them just coming into the league, some things that you all used to your advantage of just some things that they don't know? Uh I feel like at this level, man, like, like everybody is an elite athlete, elite talent, elite mentally. Um and those rookies, man, they they come in I'm not saying anything negative, but they come in with the with a, without that notion that everybody's at that level, you know what I mean? And um, Bryce Young's been playing uh, playing good ball, and he's uh, going to be great in this league, but like he, he's still young right now. He's still finding you know, rookie mistakes. Everybody always says rookie mistakes or stuff like that, and it's hard to put your finger on what actually a rookie mistake is, but you see, like, okay, a, a vet wouldn't do that or blah, blah, blah. But um, that just comes with, with it, you know what I mean? Everybody has been through that rookie phase, has made rookie mistakes, and um, I feel that he's just – another one of them just, you know what I'm saying, finding his way along in this league. And um, I know it's going to click for him sometime, but um, we just got to make our our goal this week to rattle him, do whatever we can in order for him to get uncomfortable. And uh, that starts with us up front. I know in the years before you got here, I think a lot of people would have been happy just to make the playoffs as Dolphins players or fans. Do you think expectations are such that you all feel strongly about winning the division and not merely making it as a wild card. Is that important to players? Do you think now? Uh, yeah, I think it is. I think it is very important, man. Just uh, taking care of the division. That's how you uh, achieve. That's a step closer to how you achieve the the ultimate goal. You know, everybody knows what the ultimate goal is, and um, you got to take steps in, in each. You got to hit many goals in order to get to the big goal, and that's one of the many goals is. Um, winning the division, um, like you said, like people are not happy with just making the playoffs anymore. And we made the playoffs last year, but we felt like we could do so much more last year. You know what I mean? And we got a completely different team now with a completely, not completely different, but, you know, different mindset and expecting to be there and expecting to do all the things that we know we can do. Um, now it's just about honing it all in and make sure we f take week by week the focus of what we actually want to do as a team. And I feel like if we take that path, man, that things are going to start going well for us for sure. Have you had the chance to speak with uh, Nick since his, uh, his since his injury? And or I guess what are some things that you, you said to him? I mean, I just reached out to him and told him, praying for him and keeping him in my prayers. And uh, you know, you never want to see um, somebody go down as 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 bad as that was, you know. And um, with the news, it seemed like it wasn't as bad as people thought. Or I'm not sure like the whole context of it, but just praying for his recovery, man. And I know uh, this league is a lot better with him in it.